Hey everyone, I hope you are doing well. Today we will be talking about the light ammo guns in Apex Legends. I will be going over uses, worth, and recoil. Let's get into it. This is the RE45. It is a fully automatic machine pistol. It has 16 bullets in the stock no magazine version. It is a very good gun to pick up off of drop in battle royale or a great gun to buy your first arena round. This is the recoil of the RE45. As you can see, to control this gun's recoil, pull down and to the left to counteract this gun's recoil of up and to the right. You can see some of my attempts to control this gun's recoil right here. This is the P2020. It is a semi-automatic pistol with options to add a magazine and a scope. Statistically, this gun is one of the worst guns in the game. With a damage of 16 to the body and 27 to the head, this is a decent choice off of spawn, but should be dropped the first chance you get. Moving to the recoil, being a single-shot weapon, there barely is any. So, no recoil control required to use this gun. Next, the R301. This gun is a fully automatic assault rifle that has a decent magazine size and the option to attach a barrel stabilizer, a magazine, an optic, and a stock. Even though it does say that there is a hop-up spot, the R301's hop-up is being removed permanently in a matter of hours from the time of filming, so that will not be included in this guide. Next, moving on to the recoil of this gun. As you can see, the recoil on this gun is a hook, so pulling down and to the right later will help to counteract this hook-like recoil. In summary, the R301 is a very good gun and should definitely be considered an extremely good gun with very easy recoil and a good magazine size. The R99 is a very fast-firing fully automatic light ammo submachine gun. It shoots a lot of bullets very quickly, making this gun more friendly to people with experience in first-person shooters. Easily able to one-clip an enemy with a purple shield without even attaching a magazine, this gun is a very good gun. The recoil is essentially a straight line up, so pulling down is all that is required in terms of recoil control for this gun. TLDR, hard to use, but very rewarding, assuming that you can hit your shots and aim well. The G7 Scout Marksman Rifle is a very good mid to long range single shot weapon. It does a good amount of damage to the body and a good amount to the head, making it good in close range, however, it is not meant to be used as a close range gun. Using the iron sights on this gun is a death wish because they are nearly impossible to see through, making it highly difficult to actually hit your shots with this gun. Using it long range is how it is designed, as you can see. Considering recoil, if you shoot as as fast as the gun can shoot, it is recoil, but if you simply wait about half a second between shots, there is zero recoil whatsoever. This is one of my favorite guns to use in this game. As we near the end of this video, if you could like this video if you enjoyed and it helped you, that would be great. A subscription would be even better. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the comments below.